By embracing the spirit of improvement at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, it will be even better positioned to serve the public who love to visit and learn. We audited the Denver Museum of Nature and Science and had good access to all the information we needed. Museum leaders welcomed us in, asked us to look at some of their areas of concern, and agreed to make all the changes we recommended. When I took office, I called on my audit teams to start examining Denver's cultural facilities, which are essential to our community, have strong financial and historical relationships with the city, but had never been audited by the city before. To date, we have audited the Denver Zoo, the Denver Botanic Gardens, the Denver Art Museum, and most recently, the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. This most recent audit was our best one yet. We found several areas where the museum can improve tracking and protecting the millions of items in its inventory. The museum leader said they plan to make many improvements. Museum leaders welcomed our audit and gave us complete access to fully understand how they could improve their stewardship of scientific, cultural, and historical items. Our audit looked at how managers and staff keep track of the more than 4.3 million items in its care. We found concerns including issues with tracking inventory, reliable data for loaned items, and insufficient planning for emergencies. First, the museum has a reported backlog of 2.1 million unprocessed cultural artifacts and natural specimens in its inventory. The museum does not have formal processes to inventory all collections and it needs to improve the security for their physical collections and accuracy of its data and digital records. It also needs to have a complete understanding of how many employees or volunteers it needs to get through all the work needed for a complete, reliable, and accessible inventory. Unlike art museums, which typically receive smaller volumes of items to process, nature and science museums receive thousands of items for their collections, sometimes in a single donation. The museum has high value, irreplaceable items in its care. It also has lower value but scientifically relevant items like donated jars of spiders. With a collection that big, knowing what they have and how to find the things that matter are important steps in appropriately taking care of the collections, some of which belong to the people of Denver. When we checked with other peer museums across the country, Denver's inventory challenges appear typical for this type of facility. Denver Museum managers acknowledge that in addition to not having enough staff to process all collections items and ensure a current inventory, staff and volunteers also are not trained on inventory management, which risks items being mislabeled or lost. In addition to keeping inventory of what the museum owns, the museum needs to keep better and more accessible records for what it has loaned or sent to other museums and what museums have loaned to it. The museum also needs to take additional steps to protect its valuable and rare collections and museum guests, staff, and volunteers in the event of an emergency. As part of our audit, museum leaders requested we assess its plans for emergency preparedness because this is an especially important part of the planned reaccreditation process in 2025. Finally, the museum could benefit from stronger oversight from the city and a more diverse and transparent board of trustees. We also found some positive signs of the museum's good work while we were working on our audit. The museum appears to have effective processes to comply with the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act. The museum agreed to implement all 35 of our recommendations. By making improvements, the museum will be better prepared to avoid the risk of theft, protect both its items and guests, and successfully pass its upcoming reaccreditation with the American Alliance of Museums. And by embracing the spirit of improvement at the museum, it will be even better positioned to serve the public who love to visit and learn. Well, that's it for this episode of Ask the Auditor. If you have a question, submit it to auditor at denvergov.org and maybe your question will be the next question we answer on the next episode of Ask the Auditor.